My name is Abdullah Isilo. Uh, grew up in Guinea, Conakry, which is a country in West Africa. I moved from uh, Pennsylvania with my wife. Return to here, so she had ties here, and that's how I ended up in Longwood County. I got sick. You know, went to the hospital. And uh, I was in the hospital for five days. So I got out of the hospital thinking that I was going home. At the lobby, they told me that uh, we didn't live there no more. And you know people. You call them. You have the feeling that nobody's answering your phone all of a sudden. You leave messages. Nobody. You go from 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., midnight. Where do you go? What do you do? For the first time in my life. For the first time in my life. But four days, nothing. And there was that uh, I'm talking to you about end of October. I was born October the 16th. That's my birthday. I'm sad. That day. Decided that hell with it. But again, your cojones move on. Stop being sorry for yourself. I never thank God like that day. This young girl who did my intake, so that you'll be fine. An hour later, who comes call me? What I know now is Genesis Mendoza. So I met Abdul Sila um, on November 4th. He entered our program November 1st for our Interfaith Overflow Shelter, which is a hyperthermia shelter open from November to March. So in case management, our goal is to help our clients get back on their feet and um, be able for them to get engaged with any benefits that they can receive in the county. So one of the programs that we referred Mr. Sila to was the vocational program. Well, Abdul came to the vocational services program in December of last year, and I helped him compose his resume and put skill sets on there and his previous experience. And Abdul had informed me that he previously worked as a sous chef, and then he actually found his position um, on his own at Marriott, and I helped him uh, prepare a resume for that and look it over and he was able to secure that position on his own. That week went by. The following week, I received a call from the head agency. Oh, we want you to go to Marriott headquarters. It is. And first impression is always the best. Don't miss it. So I uh, went and first day. Finished the day, came here, received a call from the agency, they want you back. Okay. Remember that? Okay. Went back. Consistency. Never fail. Fortunately, call only for me. And now at this moment that I'm talking to you, when the, when Mario has called the agency. So Mr. Sila has this incredible positive mindset and I really think that that's what has helped him achieve all of his goals that he has for himself. Mr. Sila has this ability to inspire not only the clients that are here at Progress Place but even the staff. Because of here, I'm actually interested in becoming a counselor. For me, 
every morning, 6 o'clock, 6.15, 6.30, I leave here. Before I leave, I always look. There's a reason why it's called progress. No matter where you've been, if you want to be lift up and move forward, focus forward, it's right there. That's, this is the place. It's written. There's a reason why. <laughs>